Outsider 2522 and welcome to another Eidolon video. So today I've got a bit different one for you guys. I'm going to show you how powerful weekly battles can be, why you should be using this week, and I apologise, this is very time limited. You only have uh, four days, okay? When weekly reset happens, you will not be able to do this anymore, so get in there quickly. Here's my usual senseless plug. Please come and join the Discord. It's a growing community. We're all out there trying to help each other, and we'd love to have you come aboard. Also, like, share, and subscribe. Help this channel to grow. You guys are amazing. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. Drop me a comment. Let me know where you're up to in the game, how things are going. You know, I love to talk to you guys. Let's be social. Okay, let's talk about why weekly battles are so powerful. So, there's an item in there called the Golden Stopwatch. There are very few ways to get this. What this does is it pushes things on by a day. Your daily reset happens a little bit earlier. It doesn't push on things like printer procs, which go by the hour, but your daily reset hits again. Now, these cost 30 statues from the weekly battle. Some weeks you can farm many, many statues. There's a guy in the community, he's called Zorro, fantastic member of the community. He's just become a junior mod on main Discord, so you might see him around there. He saves us all of the hard work by going and figuring out the optimum routes to clear weekly battles. What this means is he'll give you a five star route, and then he'll also give you a daily repeat for trophies route. Now, I'm going to go over the trophies route for you. However, if you're in any of the discords, I'm sure it's been posted. But let's go through it. So, the way this is going to work is if I say number one, uh, do you know what? I'm going to do it how it says. So, <clears throat> the order you're going to do it in is you're going to do middle first. Then you're going to do top option, top option, bottom option, bottom option, middle option, top, middle, bottom. Okay, this is going to cause a rewind. You're then going to go bottom, top, bottom. It's going to rewind again. Okay, when I say rewind, it might jump back one space. It might drop back a whole, whole right back to the beginning. Okay, you're then going to do top, top, bottom, middle. It's going to rewind again. You're then going to do top, middle, bottom, top, bottom. Back it goes. Top, middle, middle top top middle then we're gonna go bottom top bottom top top bottom middle bottom middle bottom bottom top bottom top 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 middle 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 bottom middle top middle top 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 keep doing top as long as you're farming statues it will eventually run out okay this will net you 13 trophies this week. Why is that so important? Well, with 13 trophies, you need 30 to get a golden stopwatch. This is just under half the way there. So for every three golden stopwatches you use, you can get a free stopwatch. That's 33% extra golden stopwatches. This means you can actually farm them. Now, if you've been holding on to your statues for the past couple of weeks since the last set of golden stopwatches, you're probably going to have about 600 statues at the moment, which is roughly 20 golden stopwatches. This is phenomenal because at 20 golden stopwatches, you're probably going to be able to add at least another seven golden stopwatches on top. So you're at like 27 now. It compounds a bit more. So actually, you're probably going to have more like 29. All right. That's 29 extra daily resets. Now, why might you want to do this? The key thing here is that on reset, you will get free attempts at your summoning, which means if you're at the point where you're trying to rush summoning, single lane rush strat, you will get more attempts <clears throat> without having to pay platinum, without having to pay your, your blue gems. You will also get your boron procs from the atom, which means you can level up more of your alchemy for um, atoms later on in the world. Later on, you will not be able to use resources most likely unless you're doing hourly clicks. This is huge. On top of that, with the current event that is going on, it resets the present drops, which means you can farm an extra 50 presents. Inside those presents will be old event cards. There will also be blue gems and there will be candy. Now, the main reason I'm saying this is because that candy can then be used to do things like bar farm. OK, put your S, put your siege breaker, uh, uh, um, G mush right at the beginning of World One where you're going to go and farm up um, extra coin drop char uh, coin drops. And on top of that, you're going to be able to farm bars. 
Now, if you're on the God Shard farm, farm, you're going to have to do a lot of two-minute claims. This is going to get you so many hour candies that you'll be able to take a big chunk of that out of the way immediately. Okay? Not only does it do that, every three days, your summoning will allow you to buy more of the familiars that give you XP, which means you can start upgrading things towards the um, royal... Gone what his name is, but the top tier familiar that you need for the final part of Sussy Jean's quest. Also, I mentioned in my last video, I was talking about mini bosses and how you should farm them every seven days. These golden stopwatches count towards your daily timer for mini bosses. So, after seven golden stopwatches, you can go and farm two of each of the bosses. This is fantastic. And means the quest, such as Bothering Mutants, which is uh, part of World 4, uh, where you have to kill Mutated Mush. No, Mutated... Yeah, Mutated Mush. Um, you're now going to be able to get two of those way quicker than the number of weeks it would have to take. Also, there is a quest in World 1 for Papa Guinea, I think his name is. Anyway, the final pig in the final map with the frogs. <clears throat> his, his quest is time gating. A lot of people forget about it. While you're running this, you can buy those stamps for all your tunes, clear up World 1, and be done with it. Time gating is finished. This is a fantastic week to be farming weekly bosses if you haven't yet. And the answer's already out there for you, so you don't even have to think about it. Okay, that's all the information I have for you this week. If you found this useful in any way, shape or form, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Drop me a comment. Let me know if you're going to be farming weekly bosses. Sorry this wasn't done sooner. I was waiting for the most recent update. However, Google's put a kibosh on that. So um, I'm going to go with this instead. As always, thank you very much for watching. You've been amazing. Take care.